So I hear email marketing is dying <laughs> or is it? <laughs> I got this uh, question from a subscriber said, Hey Roy, I have a quick question for you. I heard from some coaches that email marketing is slowly dying and social media marketing is the new meta. How true is this? Thanks in advance. All right, so well, I guess that's what we're going to talk about in today's episode. Let's dive in. These are the proven direct response marketing, copywriting, and entrepreneurship success strategies you can use today to write your own ticket and create the life you want. I am Roy Furr, and this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Now, here's today's breakthrough. All right, today's episode, as always, is sponsored by me. And uh, maybe I'm telegraphing the answer a little bit to the question on this one. But my, uh, my, my sponsoring product of this episode is email copywriting prompts. Check the link in the description. It's 31 email copywriting prompts that actually give you infinite email copywriting ideas. It'll make sense when you check out that link. And it's ridiculously cheap. I'm going to raise the price soon, I'm sure of that. But right now, you can get it for just 7 bucks. Uh, as long as as long as that is still available, the link is in the description. And by the way, it's not just for email copywriting. Any short copy you need to write, so for example, I don't know, some social media copy <laughs> that can be uh, inspired by these email copywriting prompts. The link is in the description. And by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe so you get more content like this delivered to you. Let's dive into that question again. Ah, uh, um, hey Roy. I have a quick question for you. I heard from some coaches that email marketing is slowly dying and social media marketing is the new meta. How true is this? Is email marketing being replaced by social media? Is it, is it being replaced? No. I'll tell you what's going on with those coaches, though. I'll tell you what's going on. Lean in close. Lean in close. They are manipulating you so that you will buy their social media marketing program. They, are, they don't know how to teach you email marketing. And so they manipulate you so you buy their social media marketing program. They know that human beings like want to pursue, oh, the latest thing. And so they manipulate you so you will buy their social media marketing program. They're not saying this in your best interest. They are saying this because, because, because... <laughs> because it leads to you giving them more money. Um, so uh, I'm not saying social media marketing is bad, but their claim that email marketing is dying gets attention, just like me putting it in the title of this video or this episode gets attention. And, uh, and they're using that in this case to perpetrate a lie. I'm using it to tell you the truth. They're using it to perpetrate a lie so that you will give them money. <clears throat> so email right now still has like a 40x ROI on average, which means for every dollar put into email marketing, the amount of dollars that are pulled out is $40. And right now in the context of everything, that's unbeatable, um, especially if you account for your per hour value that you invest in social media. So what I mean is, you know, if you if you spend a hundred dollars, or or if if your time is otherwise worth a hundred dollars per hour, and you spend an hour on social media, is that generating four thousand dollars? Because that's the forty x ROI. Um, so it's it's unbeatable right now. The 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 power the power of this of email marketing is in the controlled distribution. It's in the control distribution. You can deliver your message on demand to someone's smartphone, in their pocket, to their desktop. And yeah, not everybody has email notifications on and not everything goes straight to the inbox and gets a notification and all of that. I know, I know, you know, things are changing. Things are changing with email marketing. But you still have controlled distribution from email marketing in a way that is really unparalleled in the online marketing world. So what is the case that's being made against email marketing? Um, number one, deliverability is getting harder. You have to do things to make sure that you have a great relationship with your audience. You can't just spam the heck out of everybody and expect to 
you know, have it pay off. You actually have to have, you have to deliver value. You have to make it so that when your name shows up in their inbox, and I've been pitching this for a long time, when your name shows up in their inbox, they want to read it. And that is huge, huge. Because when somebody tells, you know, Gmail or whatever that, hey, I want to read messages from this person. Um, I, I want to engage with this person. When they reply to your emails so that there is a two-way connection and their email service provider makes sure that your stuff shows up in their inbox, that's how you win in this, not by abandoning email. Yes, so deliverability is getting harder, but that doesn't mean you abandon email. Email is a different medium than a lot of... Um, than a lot of social media marketers are comfortable with. Email is one way. Um, it's not conversational. Email is a medium that is, um, it, it comes more naturally to people who are in older generations. That said, pretty much everyone still has an email address and most people still check them consistently. I'm sure there may be younger demographics that are checking Facebook far more often than they're checking email. Uh, but Still, uh, it is the most reliable way to make sure that your message is showing up in front of people uh, when you want it to and not when, you know, Mark Zuckerberg decides it's okay. So here's, here's the truth about email marketing. You still pretty much need email marketing to make a lot of paid advertising work. So, for example, uh, if you want to run Facebook ads, one of the best things that you can do is get someone to opt in on the first page and have a follow-up sequence that goes out to them relative to whatever the content is that they're opting in for. That's an autoresponder sequence um, where they are actually giving their email address in exchange for some type of value and you follow up with them to get them to engage with your selling message. You also build an email list that way, which is incredibly powerful. To build that email list in that way, that means that every dollar that you spend has the potential to continue paying off two months, three months, six months, 12 months down the road. And, and here's the thing, like even if you're not doing paid advertising, email also works for social media marketers. Email works for you as a social media marketer to continue to communicate with your audience. We'll, we'll get to more on that in a minute, but I, I do want to go to the other side of this and say, okay, social media is the new king. Is that like, it's the new meta, right? It's the new meta. Well, so, uh, here's one thing. Social media is here to stay. I'm not I'm not going to deny the power of social media. In fact, it's, it's very effective. It's very effective. Um, it's very effective to reach audiences. It's very effective to communicate with audiences. Um, the, the whole two-way nature of social media makes it especially powerful when there is communication going on between you and your audience. There's social proof developed by that. There is more of a connection developed by that. But here's the thing. It is not your playground and you don't make the rules. So, you know, we can blame Zuckerberg, we can blame Google, we can blame uh, TikTok, we can blame whatever, but you have way less control. You can put stuff on there all you want, but you don't have control over who gets it and when. Even if you build a huge audience on these social media platforms, so like for example, early on in, in the Facebook for business days, there was Facebook pages, which were all the thing, right? It basically acted like a personal profile where you could just put all content out there and it would start showing up in your followers' news, news feeds. And then one day, Facebook decided to change the rules and basically the visibility of every post that you would put on your Facebook page disappeared. And so there were all of these businesses that had relied on Facebook Organic for an extended period of time putting their stuff out there and suddenly Facebook turned off their traffic. Boom, it was gone. Snap, right? Uh, <laughs> so Facebook turned off their traffic and suddenly you had to pay to advertise on Facebook to get in front of those same people. And, um, you know, right now Facebook groups are free and they're a huge way to distribute things. They could easily change the rules on that tomorrow. I don't know if they will. I'm not saying they will. They could change the rules on Instagram posts. They could change the rules on all of it tomorrow. The point is that it's not your playground. You don't make the rules. You can play by their rules and you can succeed from that, but you have way more control when it comes to email marketing. But here's the thing. When social media works, 
it works because the vast majority, well, actually, I don't think it's not the vast majority of the world's population, but a very significant minority of the world's population are on most social media platforms. Um, and what that means is that you have access to all of those people. And if you have something that resonates and it provides the engagement on their platform that they are trying to create to get their users to come back and stay on their platform for as much time as possible, then they will show your stuff and they will show your stuff and they will show your stuff and they will show your stuff. And when you tap into the power of the algorithm, you can succeed in a big way on social media. And so that's great, that's awesome, right? So social media is powerful, right? It's powerful. Even more powerful is when you take email and you add social media and then you have a secret weapon. So the people who are the best at social media right now are not saying that email marketing is dying. The people who are the best at social media right now, for example, I know some folks that do Facebook groups. And one of the strategies without giving away too much here, one of the strategies is, okay, you're building your Facebook group. Well, how do you actually get people to engage with your content inside your Facebook group? Oh, well, when they sign up to your Facebook group, they also sign up to your email list. And when they sign up to your email list, they sign up to your Facebook group. It's, it's kind of a two-way street there. And then you want some content to really pop inside your Facebook group. You send an email to your email list, directing them to the Facebook group and say, hey, go check out this content that I just posted on Facebook. Or for example, these episodes that I post on YouTube. When I release a new episode, uh, within 15 minutes, I have an email going out to my email list saying, hey, go check out my new episode that's on YouTube. It's also available on podcasts and stuff like that too, right? But the primary link in those emails is to YouTube and YouTube has an algorithm that shows it to uh, that shows it to other people who might be interested, who are like the people who are engaging with the video. So it's different uses. It is different uses and they are complementary. So social media works as a discovery platform, right? It works, um, you can do discovery via free content. You can discover, do discovery versus paid advertising, right? Um, so you put it out there so that the users discover you through that. The trick here is that you want to push people over to join your email list. So for example, there's a link in the description with this episode for you to join my email list and you should do that. <laughs> um, it, you can push people from social media to your email list. The key is they're discovering you via that content. It's really hard for someone to discover you via email unless your email gets forwarded, but it doesn't work quite the same way, right? Now, email works as an inducement platform, and that is inducing someone to take action. You have control. You can do it on demand. You can send out an email and say, hey, I want you to go take this action right now, which is really useful for things like, oh, I'm going to run a 4th of July sale, right? I'm going to run a whatever sale. Well, if I want to induce people to take action and there are deadlines associated with it, email is way superior to social media for that because you are relying on the you know, social media's, uh, I guess, um, unreliable algorithms. We'll, we'll, we'll say that. You're relying on the unreliable algorithms of social media to put your message in front of people on the timeline that you want if you try to do some of this stuff on social media. So we take social media as a discovery platform. We push people onto our email list and we use our email to induce people to take action. But the other thing that we can do, and I hinted at this earlier, Social media is also a great consumption platform. So one of the actions that we can induce with email is to push our subscribers back to social media to consume specific media. So when I send out an email and I say, hey, I've posted a new episode, go check it out on YouTube. I am pushing people to YouTube as the consumption platform and that feeds the algorithms, right? And so if you are working to grow a Facebook group or working to grow a TikTok channel or working to grow a, a YouTube channel or whatever, any kind of social media, right? If you push people to engage with you on those other platforms with email, what happens is if you post quickly and then you send a bunch of people directly to that post and people are engaging with it there, then the algorithms say, oh, this is something that's popular and is popular out of the gate 
And so let's show it to more people, which feeds back into it being a great discovery platform. And so the real magic happens when the powers combine. And so anybody that's claiming that social media is dying, really you should just not, or I'm sorry, anybody that's claiming that social media is taking over email, that email is dying, you should not listen to them because they don't know what the heck they're talking about. They are manipulating you to try and get you to buy their social media marketing thing, but they are doing you a disservice if they are successful. Because yes, email marketing has changed. Things like deliverability are challenging, um, but email marketing is not going away. It, like it's no more going away than direct mail is going away. Yes, direct mail changed as online became an option, but direct mail is still one of the most profitable things that you can do in terms of marketing today, right? Um, you, it's, it's also really expensive and the cost of failure is very high, but when it works, it is highly profitable, right? And so, you know, people who proclaim the death of direct mail now, you know, 20 years later or whatever are, are wrong. And the people who are proclaiming the death of email are wrong. Yeah, things are always changing, but that does not mean that these other mediums are dying. They're just existing in relationship to each other and the world's best marketers understand how you can use them together instead of jumping from one shiny object to the next. And if you want to write better emails or use the same ideas that you might use to write better emails to write more effective social media posts, my email copywriting prompts is a great way to do it. It's 31 uh, email idea starters that can be mixed and matched for an infinite variability in the email messaging that you would use. And, you know, some of them are much more focused on uh, speaking to people who are still making their buying decisions. Some are much more focused on speaking to people who are ready to buy and you're just trying to get them to take action. Work together, you can write really an infinite amount of marketing emails with it. The link is in the description. Don't forget the price is going up. So go ahead and buy it today just so you can catch it at that lowest price. I'm Roy Fur. This is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Every day, every episode, I'm here helping you increase your marketing genius. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get more content like this. I'll catch you soon in the next episode. See you soon. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.